This video is brought to you by the Edinburgh Watch Company, who specialise in the buying and selling of fine Swiss luxury watches in the beautiful city of Edinburgh and online at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. Hello and welcome back to The Watch Guys. I hope you are safe and well. This week's watch is from a micro brand you may not have heard of, but it has a distinct visual style, a strong affiliation with coffee, and wearing it transports me back to a time when the most stress I had in my life was how long to play with my big track. Ladies and gentlemen, this week's watch is the Brew Company Metric Retro Dial. Let's party like it's 1984. Welcome everyone to this week's watch, the Brew Company Metric Retro Dial. A relatively new purchase for me, but a joyous one. And I think you'll agree, a super cool watch with a whiff of 80s nostalgia. The Brew Watch Company is a relatively new micro brand based in New York City and founded by coffee-loving entrepreneur Jonathan Ferrer. Ferrer studied industrial design at the New Jersey Institute of Technology, but in terms of watches, is self-taught following years of research, and the designs were refined in New York coffee shops. Inspired by the engineering and design artistry of high-end coffee machines, the initial watches from Brew have a very specific brand identity and design language. They are all square with rounded off edges, but with highly detailed clean dials often boasting an interesting texture. The philosophy of the company is about savouring the moment and treasuring time. But before we get too much into this episode, time for a quick wristwatch check. And under the black jumper this week, I have the Corono Chronograph. Two. This is a 38mm column wheel chronograph. It's got an Art Deco, almost Blade Runner quality to it. You can see the copper, black and brown dial and details, including an unusual inner tachymetric scale. This watch has a host of fascinating details, including recessed subdials and polished steel studs for the hour markers. It's limited to 500 pieces, all now long sold out, and there will be an episode on this watch very soon. But now let's treasure some more time with this week's watch, the Metric Retro Dial from the Brew Watch Company. The Metric Retro Dial is a new release from Brew and it features a crisp 36mm steel case, 50m water resistance, sapphire crystal glass and a brushed and polished steel bracelet. It is a very reasonable $395 and it's available from the Brew Watch Company website with international shipping. It features a hybrid Seiko originated VK68 Mecha Quartz movement, as many micro brands do. The Nozomi Ruff X Voiture Chronograph featured on this very channel uses the VK63 Mecha Quartz. And as you can see, this watch is made with a distinctly 70s style case, but 80s style color palette. But more about that in a minute. This is the current collection, and as you can see, you've got the Metric series, including this week's watch, the Retro Dial, and its sister, the Steel Dial. Then there's the Retromatic collection, which all sport a circular grille pattern on the dial. Special mention of the Green Dial, that is awesome. Then you've got the Mastergraph series, my least favourite, which has a round watch dial and bezel sat in a square case, and it's a bit too fussy for me. And then here are the retrographs, which evoke memories of the Herr Silverstone of the 1970s. My favourite here is the Technicolor, which you can see you can also get on a steel beads of rice bracelet. What's impressive about the watches from the Brew Watch Company is that you get a well-designed, well-made watch for less than $525, with many below $400, and that is outstanding value for money. You also get a year's warranty, but more importantly, you are supporting an exciting new microbrand. And now that we know more about the company and its range, let's go deep, deep undercover about this metric retro dial and why I find it so interesting. First of all, let's drink in all those details. The turquoise on the reholt, the slices of orange on the subdial and the chronograph hand, the dips of butterscotch on both hands and around the six o'clock position. It's all sublime. That yellowy area either side of the six o'clock position, incidentally, is a timer, which shows you the optimum time for the espresso shot 
to be extracted from when the pump starts. Typically, that's 25 to 35 seconds, depending on the barista and the machine. Now you can see how important coffee is to Jonathan Ferrer. Look at that sneaky, almost invisible date window nestled between the hour markers at four and five. It's a chronograph, so it has a central crown and two pushers, one to start and stop the chrono hand and one to reset it to the 12 o'clock position. The watch comes on an old school digital calculator watch-esque steel bracelet, adjustable of course, but fortunately the standard size fits me just fine. For me, the metric retro dial was the very essence of what I like to call the impulse buy. It just looked inherently right. The shape, the sheen of the metal, the bracelet, and of course, perhaps most importantly, the choice and use of color. As soon as I saw this watch, my head was full of retro gaming arcades, the 80s, John Hughes movies, cassette tapes, calculator watches, Tron, Cindy Lauper, and of course, Big Track. The muted tones and restrained clutter on the dial marry perfectly with that brushed steel case and bracelet. There's an awful lot going on on that dial, but somehow it remains clean and simple. That is a neat trick. The company's coffee bean motif is etched onto the case pack, the crown, and is also in black on the dial itself, which is perhaps a bit overkill. But the overall feeling on the wrist is of nostalgia, and that's why I love it. A simpler, more innocent age where technology was beginning to influence our lives, but not too much. I think one of the other things that I really like about this watch is it evokes to me memories of those 70s Seikos, the ones with all the different cool colored dials, very much like these ones right here, which I'll show you against this watch. You can really see similarities in the vibe, in the details, in the use of color. And I really like that. It shows me that Jonathan Ferrer is a real student of watchmaking and of design, and he likes to take inspiration from all sorts of different places. And now, of course, you guessed it, it's time for Unboxo Vision. As we can see, this is the brew box, a lovely square, unassuming, simple affair. And you open it up inside immediately, a full color, almost like a coffee cup coaster, which has got the instructions and also the registration information. It's a real nice little touch that. Then you've also got a little cloth to be able to wipe your watch, keep it clean. And underneath that, we've got another small square box with the brew name on it. Nice, simple affair again, very robust and inside there you go. There's the metric retro dial. Almost the same packaging as you would get in those 70s, 80s Seikos that I mentioned earlier. The buying story for this metric retro dial could not be simpler. I saw it on Instagram. I immediately loved it. I ordered it straight away from the Brew Company website. There was a little bit of shipping added on because obviously it's international, but within, I think, a week, it was in my hands. And considering all the disruption in the world, that was incredible. So hats off to you, Brew Watch Company. So there you are. That is the Brew Watch Company metric retro dial. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you love the watch as much as I do. It's sold out at the moment, but more stock is going to come in soon. I'm reliably informed. If you like what I'm doing on the watch, guys, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Leave comments and likes. Interact with the channel. There'll be another episode along next week.